All right, guys, so today is the big day. This is the third installment of my designer bag collections. Today, we're discussing Longchamp. Hey guys, welcome in. If you're new to my channel, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So if that's something you're into, which I mean, I'm assuming, hello, you're here, go and hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up, say hi in the comments. Find me over on Instagram at caleb.snell.designer. And what are we discussing today? We are gonna be looking at my Longchamp collection. This is my second year on YouTube. And so what I've done to kind of celebrate my two year anniversary is to share my designer bag collections. So the very first episode was like the truly high-end designer, like the Hermes, the Louis, the Fendi, the Gucci, the, the Givenchy, all the good, the good stuff. Then video two was my Duty and Burke and Coach collection. And finally for bag collections, we're on to Longchamp. There's only five bags today, so this is actually gonna be fairly quick. In my collection with the addition of my new brand in Blackwood, which I revealed Wednesday of this week, and I am absolutely loving, I have 82 bags in my designer bag collection, which is, and I haven't looked yet, but if I'm being quite open and honest with you guys, I probably have at least half that and just SLGs, wallets, wristlets, pouches, key holders, you name it, there's a big SLG collection, and that is gonna be coming out next Sunday. So make sure, mark your calendars, hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss it. So when it comes to my Longchamp collection, I, I really only try and buy them like in special places. What do you mean by that, Caleb? I love that about you, stay curious. Longchamp, it's so wonderfully affordable. It's beautifully priced. They make some gorgeous pieces. And listen, guys, I just told you I have 82 bags in my collection. There's literally a Longchamp outlet like two blocks away from my house. Like I would be in big trouble if I was one of those people that just like bought Longchamp bags all the time. To keep myself from doing that, I only buy one Longchamp bag when we're in Europe. So each time we visit a new country or we're on a new trip, I buy one Longchamp bag. And the reason I do that, it kind of all stems from our trip we did, I think it was in 2016. Yes, it was for our 10th anniversary. We did a couple of weeks through Amsterdam, Brussels, and Paris. Didn't have a whole lot of money that year. Save space, I said what I said. So buying one Longchamp bag at like 70 pounds was a bit of a splurge at the time in 2016. So I started my Longchamp collection with the Lou Pliage Docks bag in the color black. Now this is in the original composition with like the British tan. Not really Safiano, just kind of textured leather. Beautiful gold button here. You've got the cute little like ruthenium zipper pull here. And then if you're new to Longchamp, hi, welcome. It's a little bit addictive. Each item is going to have the model name stamped into the back of the bag underneath the Longchamp stamp. Super cute. Also, to that end, these bags are incredibly simple. So they're just made out of a really durable, like nylon canvasy material. And the interior is kind of like coated in like, uh, almost like a rubberized kind of material. So if you're stuck in the rain, these bags are amazing. Fun story though, we were in Paris, like I said. I wanted my very first Longchamp bag to be made in Paris or to be made in France at least, right? The uh, client advisor there at Longchamp, I could tell he was annoyed with me because he kept like pulling bags out, looking for France. I'm that guy, I, I did it, I'm sorry, I know. I've worked retail, like, but for a minute, I allowed myself to be that guy and I was like, can you please find me a made in France one and I'll totally buy it. After lots of looking, he finally found it in like a cabinet way off where in the boutique and now it's mine. Now this is actually perfect. So if you have a MacBook Pro, fits right inside. It, it actually fits quite a bit. Now, I will apologize if, if you're new to my channel, not all of my bags look like sad and wrinkled like this, but with Longchamp bags, you know, you fold them up and, and they're all my Longchamp drawer. Yes, I have a Longchamp drawer. A little bit about me. So this next one I actually bought when we were in Venice. So if, if you've been to Venice, you know it can rain quite a bit. Our first night there, torrential downpour. Like we went through Italy, started in Rome, Florence, ended in Venice. Torrential downpour though, and I had my Louis Vuitton Tiger Reporter PM. I'm like, I don't wanna get my leather bag soaked. So we ran into the Longchamp there on St. Mark's Square and I purchased this Olive Club version. So I believe this is the large size, Lou Pliage Type L. Yes, so this is the large size and this is phenomenal. Like of all of my Longchamps, this is my most used. I don't know why, but I absolutely love this color. So much so the corners are starting to show wear. I know. Longshop has a beautiful repair policy. Once you blow out a corner, they'll do, I think, like one set of new corners for free the first time. And then after that, I think you might have to pay. Such a good bag. I've really gotten my money's worth out of this one. And the shop there is actually really cute. So in Venice, you're, you're walking through St. Mark's Square. They have like the two restaurants, which 
have amazing desserts, by the way. Right in the back corner, so you've got like the cathedral behind you, back right corner, Longchamp. The staff was super friendly. Zane actually bought a Longchamp umbrella while we were in there because I think we left ours in the room or something. Not prepared for Venice, but it ended up being a beautiful trip. On that trip though, we also stopped at Gucci. Zane got loafers, I got a card holder, we had champagne, it was beautiful, wonderful. I loved our time in Italy. I think that's why I use this bag so much. I, I have such a strong affinity for our trip through Italy and I'd, I'd like to go more. So yeah, this one sees a lot of use. All right, so this next bag I kind of bought out of necessity. So this was from our trip through Germany. We went for Christmas 2019, you know, right before all that happened. Fabulous time. If you can go to Germany during Christmas time, do it. Hit as many cities as you can because the Christkindle markets are phenomenal. Like the ones here in Chicago are good. They're not Germany good. So if you can do it in your lifetime, go do Germany, Christmas time, gorgeous. So just like the one in Venice, the one that I bought for our trip to Germany was also purchased because we needed more space. Zane and I are avid shoppers when we're abroad and typically it results in at least one or two brand new rolling suitcases coming home. My newest Longchamp stuck to the gills. Like we, we do a little bit of shopping while we're out and about. The very first time I think we were in Nuremberg and we stopped at the Longchamp there after we went to the Christkindle market and had dinner and all that. The staff was really not it. Not the vibe, not the moment. We're just kind of like, oh, what are these weird guys doing in here? Like, mm, you know, bleh. so we're like, okay, never mind. We'll wait until the next city. We go to Munich the first night and we end up doing some shopping. We buy Zane's mother a backpack, which I think I've shown here on the channel. We bought this bag, which really comes in handy here in a minute. This is also the same night where I saw the Louis Vuitton Beauty Palace bag, you know, up on display. Didn't buy it, ended up going back the next night. They sold out and I had to run through the city at Christmas time to the next store and I bought the last one in Germany. That whole story. This was the same night. So the one that I bought was the Lou Pliage Extensible. And this is the color acid green, also in the club style. I love this one, but the light color terrifies me. There's, when you're traveling abroad, like I love taking a long shot just because I can throw like my, my actual like big bags in there, like my nice bags, throw them under the seat in front of me or up in the overhead bins. I don't have to worry about them. This color though, it's so light and so fabulous. I'm like, oh, I really don't want to screw this one up. So I haven't really used it much yet. However, when we were in Germany, Zane also collects the You Are Here mugs from Starbucks. And I think we hit like five or six cities. We did like Berlin, Munich, Nuremberg, Stuttgart, Dresden, at least five or six cities. So each city has a big box for the mug. And this basically filled up with Zane's Starbucks mugs. He has a whole collection for all the cities and countries and towns that we visited that have the You Are Here mugs and they're getting harder and harder to find. So when you find them, you have to buy them all up. So. That's for this bag. This one actually extends. So this zipper portion here drops and you gain at least another six inches of bag. It's amazing. There's also a crossbody strap so you can throw it up over the shoulder. Also, because of the way it's styled, I was able to purchase a Longchamp lock. I think you just fit it through the ends here. Maybe I'm making that up. Did I buy this for a different bag? No, I think, I think I'm right. You fit it through the ends here, if I remember right. I think, I think you do. <laughs> Did I buy the lock with another bag? I thought I bought it in Germany. Oh my gosh, I bought the lock in Italy. In Venice? No, I bought the lock here at home at the outlet, right? No. 1815, well, that, that would be in euros, right? Yeah, euros, 10 euros. What city did I... I think I bought the lock in Germany. We're sticking to it. However, if you have the style that has the lock hole, the lock hole is here. You just line up the zipper, push it through the lock hole. That's how it works. I should really start writing this stuff down. I have one more loup pliage to share with you guys and then one more bag after that. But the last and final one was purchased in Spain at the La Roca Village outlet. I have a whole video on that on the channel. Go check it out if you want. Super cute bag. This is in the original style again. So you just have like the British tan trim. You have the hole here for the lock, which is really nice. It looks like they've changed the zipper pull since my first one. This one's a little bit beefier. We're here for it. And again, this is size large. The large size I think is fabulous for travel. Not so much for every day, it's like way too big. So I would probably go with a medium, especially ones with like the shoulder drop. Much better for daily use. But these bags are just, they're cute, they're durable, they're beautiful. I haven't used this one yet because we haven't really traveled since we went to Spain. Yeah, that's the truth. Right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, we really haven't gone on the trips in Spain. So this one hasn't really been used. I might've used it once when I flew back to Indiana for a weekend. However, 
hasn't been used yet. So the fun story attached to this one, like it's not that exciting of a story. I went to, to, to Longchamp there at La Roca Village, bought it because I have to buy, you know, a Longchamp in every, you know, European country I go to or trip. And that was the same trip where I passed on the beautiful Burberry bucket bag that I have been like trying to find for, for a couple years now. So it's also the same trip where Zane bought his green Prada phone bag. He used this card only there and I think one other place and then someone ended up skimming it and then trying to buy like pizza and turkey or something obscure. There's the fun story with my La Roca Village outlet experience. But like I said, the, the size large, this is literally the perfect size. It fits in the overhead bins on the plane if you fly commercial, fits underneath the seats, you can throw it in the trunk of the car, throw like the, your, the bags that you really don't want to mess up, like your, put your Hermes in here and it's protected while you're on the plane. Fabulous, right? And then you can have the lock. However, I don't think this is a TSA rated lock, so I don't, don't think you could check it, but super cute. I don't know how you're supposed to, they never actually, okay, so like that. I don't know how. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's how you would lock it. Figured it out. So this final bag, it's the world's cutest clutch wristlet moment. So it's kind of like a turquoisey tealy color. I love my jewel tones. I love my suede, my textures. I love tassels. I had to have it. Super cute. I think I've used it once. Yeah, I had my stuff packed in it to go out to lunch, but then it turned out to be sprinkling and suede and sprinkles are a uh, hard no. So I ended up going right back into my closet. But filling it with your things and intending to carry it is like half the battle. Am I not wrong? I'm not wrong. Super cute lining. You just have that long chomp kind of diamante pattern. The wrist strap, it is removable. So you have this like little button clasp here. Have I ever removed it? No. I mean, I, I think it's it's cute either way. Just kind of like purse first, as, as Bob would say. Anyway, guys, that was my super cute, super quick, super little long chomp collection. It's a vibe, right? Kind of, sort of, maybe. Thank you for joining me today. Like I said, we've already covered my designer bags, my contemporary coach, and Dooney and Burke. <laughs> Today was Longchamp. We have one more collection video to get through, and that is SLGs. I'm gonna do like a ranking, like the best to worst. Are SLGs worth it? Like, why do I have 36 wallets? Why do I have 36 wallets? It's a legitimate question. Why? I'm just kidding. And since this video is going up on Easter, happy Easter if you celebrate. If not, I still hope you have a wonderful weekend. And until Wednesday, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you guys then. Bye bye. That's it.